in standing out, and I, I think this goes back to that, that early stat of um, how much promotions impact where people eat spontaneously, and the nutty number of restaurant promotions we're going to see this year. Uh, and I think it's really never been more important to stand out from the crowd. And there's there's kind of two ways you can do that with, with these programs. So one is you could have a massive prize. And that's the you know easier but much more expensive way to do it. You will definitely stand out if you're giving away a hundred thousand dollars or something. But obviously that's not uh, realistic for, for every brand. And what we try to do at, at LaunchFire is really provide a kind of extra value to the customer beyond a chance to win. And that's in something fun. And we particularly saw in the, in the, the last year, people are, you know, to some degree, a little bored. They're, they're sitting at home and they're looking for something new to their week. And that's part of why they're, uh, you know, looking for takeout or looking to, to go to a restaurant. And so what we bleed into our, our programs is uh, a game, something fun that people can do to try and earn greater chances to win. So rather than just entering a pin and you know you have a chance to win, uh, we really make it a, a fun experience as well. And that has a couple advantages. So the first one is you're getting a lot more time with your customers. So in a you know an enter to win program that I, I just described, you know, you get maybe 30 seconds, maybe 45 seconds of your, your customer's time. Whereas with a, a game experience, you know, because it's fun, because they actually enjoy the, the process of going through a game version of a, of a sweepstakes, they're coming back three, four, five times throughout the, the promotional experience and spending two or three minutes with you every time. So when you see that, you know, think of how much a 20 second TV ad would cost. It's really the kind of eyeball time you're getting for, for your registrants. And because you get that time, you also get a lot of interesting data and kind of touch points on uh, how people are interacting with different goals that you have, how many people are answering trivia questions, how many people download your app based on it. And you can make some pretty cool tweaks along the road just because you have access to all this additional data about your customers based on their, their interaction with the program. And I think the, the game tactics that, that tend to work the best are stuff that you see in you know addictive mobile games that everybody is kind of a junkie for. It's collection mentality, it's risk reward, it's making sure that the, the difficulty scales well. So these are all just different factors uh, that lead to, I, I think, a, a program standing out. Uh, it's a lot more expensive, I think, to stand out with a, a fancy prize than it is to stand out with a, a memorable program. And at the end of the day, it's also uh, you know extra brand value and people remembering a fun experience they had with your brand, rather than remembering just the prize, which I think is what happens when you uh, you know you're giving away a, a boat or a, a trip to the Olympics. Is the brand often sometimes gets forgotten. So adding a memorable, fun experience, I think, kind of adds to to the goals in, in that respect. Mm -hmm.